Oh yeah, I wanted to go to the crimson next door and see, this is plants, there you go. And there you go, mushroom too. I wanted to go to the crimson next door and, and, and test out the clen clintaminator. Test that thing out and see how good that thing is. Uh, let's get rid of the gatligator, at least right now. Oh, like, I haven't even used the gatligator like pretty much at all. Do I want to like put that up like permanently? I don't know, maybe. I'm going to favor that for right now, though. Uh, DPS meter. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's go test out the DPS meter on the, uh, or whatever you want to call it. What are we at? Oh, my gosh. Yeah, it jumped up. Well, I got a lot of crits right there, so it went up to, like 1,400 or whatever, but uh, our DPS went up about 100 DPS. Not bad. Average. Remember, it was like 1170, uh, maybe like 50 to 100. You know, depending on how many crits we get, it goes up, it goes down. But man, it, I'm like, the critical strike chance goes up a ton, doesn't it? Like 20% or like, golly, 20%. What was it? Uh, critical strike chance. Yeah, 7.5% more damage and plus 3% critical hit chance. Okay, so it helps out a little bit, but nothing too crazy. But let's go over here to the Crimson and let's see. Oh, yeah, I forgot there was, yeah, this is from the, uh, what do you call it? Oh, yeah, there's a lot of, uh, ripe pumpkins, I guess I can mine, so that's good. Let's do that. Nice. Let's, let's test out this Clintaminator thing. Oh, God. Kill it. Kill it. Nice. Got him. All right, let's test this thing out. We, we... Yeah, didn't we test this, test out the, uh, purification potions, like, in this area? Well, I guess we could test it. Let's do it on this mountain. It seems like it's going to work a little bit better. Let's see how big this is going to work. Whoa! That's, uh, I could definitely see how that works a lot better. Hold on. Oh, and you could even, uh, like, specify a direction. Ooh. Interesting. And it does make sense to do it from the top. Does it go to, like, the bottom of the map or something? A solar eclipse is happening. Ooh, what is that? I don't know. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Is something ha is something happening out here? I don't know, but there's, like, Halloween music playing right now. What's happening? Vicious mushroom. I'm getting a pretty good amount of stuff from all these enemies. A lot of enemies, it seems. Kind of want to go get another, uh, what are these things? Fritz Swamp Thing? I'm getting a lot of enemies right now, you guys. I really- Armored Neptune's Shell. Ooh. I feel like this is like another Blood Moon scenario. Wait, it's 5 a.m. Wait, what? Isn't it supposed to be daytime right now? It's supposed to be- yeah. What? Oh, it's a- oh, it's because the solar eclipse. It's basically another night, but it's like- in the, Now, does it have anything to do with the Clintaminator that I just did? Because it seemed like, oh, like, pretty much immediately after I init initiated the Clintaminator thing. Like, all these things happened. Like, it's a daytime blood moon, basically, is what's happening right now, it seems like. <laughs> Which is pretty fun. I'm zoomed out like a hardcore, but I may I may stay zoomed out, you guys. Well, another wild Neptune's shell right there. That, that seems pretty good. And yeah, I think for Halloween, they changed the heart icon to the uh, to the candy apples. That can't, that's that's kind of fun. What are these things? What are these little, uh, uh, what are the frits? I don't know. It looks like little dogs or something. I don't know. But, uh, I got the double- Oh, yeah, I need to go- Let's go get some sharpening. Let's go get some sharpening real quick. But I got the, uh, the Bewitched. That's good. Let's get the, uh... There you go. Let's get a- Let's get a Spider Queen out here. Just help- Help out our NPCs, right? So there you go. Kill these guys. There you go. And they're on top of our heckin' house, too! And they're in our house! Get them! Got them! Nice! Let's zoom in a little bit for you guys. Oh, man, the guide is almost dead again. <laughs> let's go- Let's go, uh... Oh, what was this called again? The Eternia Crystal to the Eternia Crystal's flattened area. Oh, what? Eye laser? Insta killed? Is there a boss over there? Hold on. Whoa. Well, I'm kidding. I'm taking a health. What is this? Is it over here? Is there a boss over there? I feel like there might be, you guys. What's over here? No, he's the oh, Goblin Tinker is dead. I'm not seeing anything over here. I think I think whatever it was, I I killed it. So hey, that's good. I need to go get the bewitching and all that kind of stuff. Uh, bewitching effect or bewitched effect? Yeah, look at it. It's like a weird pos the possessed. Oh, it's like a heckin' what do you call it? The Exorcist or whatever. The no wait no that's a different one. Is it? No, I don't know. Um, what movie was it that has that thing? Ah, you guys probably know it. <laughs> you know it better than me, right? But uh, let's get the bewitching table. Boom. Let's get the... There you go. There you go. Is the Spider Queen still here? Where, where is she? There you go. Oh, wait, I think that was her right there. Whoops. Uh, I could get uh, a healing potion here in about 10 seconds, so I need to stay alive. Oh, there's a heckin' bat here, though. We need to watch out. Oh, we're down to 42 heckin' health. Come on. One more second. And boom. There you go. 150 more health. Nice. All right. There's a heckin' vampire. That's what those are. What? Marty the guide was slain. Man. Wow, that sucks. All right, let's go back over here. 
trying to defend our base from all the heckin' enemies, because golly, there's a lot of them. And how long is it? Well, I guess it lasts like all heckin' day. And then it's going to turn to night time. Does it last during the night, too? I don't know, maybe. Probably. Kinda wanna go get a full health from, uh, Emily real quick. One gold? Yeah, sure, why not? Hey, at least it helps out our, uh, NPCs to hopefully not die quite as often, right? Sheesh. The, uh, Queen Spider's still holding her own over there, which is great. 405 out of- 405 health. Full health right now, which is awesome. Killing these weird ghouls. Swamp thing, that's what that's called. Like, let's go over to the, uh, to the battle arena. To the boss arena. Yeah, still need to expand this thing out, though. Sheesh. Cause it is. Like, you guys saw it during the Destroyer battle. It was like nothing. And yeah, we still have a lot of ammo, by the way, for the Clintaminator, so... I guess we can continue to do some cleansing over there in the, uh... In the whatever you call it. And probably need to do a ton... You know what? Yeah, we can do it in the Underground Desert, too, because I know over there it's, it's, it's gotten, uh... What was that thing? The Possessed? Oh, yeah. Yeah, there was like a purple thing right there. I wanted to go see what that thing was. The Swamp Thing, the Possessed... I'm looking at the right side to see what the... Well, I could just hover over them, too, just like that, right? Oh man, I'm taking a lot of damage from these guys, but I'm dealing out a lot of damage, too. How much health do these possessed and stuff have? The Fritz has 200 something health, so it takes like three hits of our, uh, whatever you call it here, to kill it. Let's get another health just to stay full health here. Man, well at least, uh, pretty much all the critters, there you go, are spawning over here, which is good. Another Fritz, it's like a weird mini demon or, or possessed armor, or what is it? Oh, there's a- oh, it's a Frankenstein! That's what the purple thing was. It's a Frankenstein! This is fun! I like- this is perfect, too! This must be a Halloween event. Because, god, every- every- there's, like, just classic horror, like, creatures and characters and- I know I'm probably gonna get a copy strike from some of these, too, but hey, at least it's pretty fun, too, right? But- oh, yeah, you know what? Let's do the Eternia Crystal after we do, uh, after we finish this. Because we have the new things we can buy from, uh, the Tavern Keep. I want to go test out those, like canes or whatever they're called, instead of like... Ah, what, what were the baseline ones called? I don't know. But it looks like there might be a tier 3 version of those uh, defensive structures we can get too, which is pretty interesting. I don't know, I, I need to go see how many of those, uh... Def uh medallions or whatever you get whenever you do the attorney. I need to see how many of those credits I have. And we're down a little bit on health. Let's heal up at the end. Boom. Up to 319 out of 305 again. As I'm constantly spamming the heckin' fetid bagnax thing. It's crazy. And what time is it? 10 a.m. right now. It's still it's still going for a long time. It's not even halfway through the day right now. Holy. I don't know if there's a... Uh, I guess if anything, whatever whatever was shooting the, the lasers, that's probably like the equivalent of the clown. I just don't know what that was. I'm looking at the, uh, the, the critter identifier and, you know, looking to make sure there's... Oh, oh. Oh, it's just a possessed thing right there that was getting killed by my two, uh, spiders, which is good. But I'm looking at, oh, Eyesore, that's it, that's it, where is it? Where is this Eyesore thing at? Where is this rare enemy that is an Eyesore that is appearing on my, is it up here? It might be. Oh, 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 yep, I hear it, where is it? Wait, no, no rare creatures nearby, wait, where is it now? It's gone. I'm gonna get another heal here in four seconds. Uh, so I, I just got healed up by the, uh, the candy apple, nice. And, boom. Yeah, see, I heard the, uh... Eyesore, I guess, is what it's called, because I just heard the laser sound effect. I don't know where this thing is, though. It's gone. Unless it despawn. I don't know why would it despawn, though, right? Hmm. Interesting. I'm like, I'm, I, I'm basically in the same area I was just at just a moment ago where it was, seemingly, right? And I'm not seeing the Eyesore on the, uh, the, the critter identifier thing on the top right. Huh. Either way, probably like halfway through right now, looking at the top of the screen where the solar eclipse is. It's kind of hard to tell because it's behind some clouds right now, you know? But, uh... I, I, I can only assume it goes continues through the night? Probably not, because, you know, you can't see the sun during the nighttime, right? So you can't even see the solar eclipse. And you know what? Maybe I should... Uh, yeah, you know, I was about to say, maybe I should do the werewolf thing, because I'm like, it's technically a full moon, right? Because it, otherwise it wouldn't be covering up the whole heckin' sun, right? And uh, I do like one extra dam or 1% extra damage while in werewolf form with that one uh, werewolf... Medallion or whatever. I, I don't know her name of these things, but it was we got it fairly recently. Oh Man, I need to take another health boom. There you go. Yeah, we're doing pretty well now Especially because I'm not near my NPCs We're not going to have to worry about them getting killed and if there are any over there by my NPCs for whatever reason We do have that spider queen, so she should help them out, right? So that's good. That's, uh, yep, that's the Frankenstein uh, You know what? I'm going to get the uh, let's get a pumpkin pie boom get those effects going nice get a well It would only last for eight minutes the fried egg one lasts for like what was it like 14 minutes or 16 minutes or something like that So I, if I, I just need to figure out how to make a fried egg and that would be pretty good 
Although it might, it, uh, yeah, now that I think it, it might just be like a rare drop from certain enemies, to be quite honest. It's probably not a craftable thing. But hey, at least the pumpkin pie is a real, is a craftable thing and it's really easy to make. Especially during the, uh, I wonder, I, surely the pumpkins will still spawn in during Thanksgiving time, right? Because it just makes sense, like the whole autumn time in general would be great to have the, the pumpkin effect. But considering you guys said it was like a Halloween event and a Christmas event, I assume it ends after Halloween. So I guess I might as well get as many pumpkins as I can because I, you know, as I'm recording this, I still have like a whole half month ahead of me. So that's good. There you go. Man, I'm like, we still take pretty good damage from these things. We do need to watch out because I'm like the small amount of damage these guys do. And that's not me low-key bragging. It adds up. And we're still, eh, we're still basically full health right now, which is good. I, I keep looking at the top right, you know, looking at my health, but also looking for more uh, rare creatures like the eyes or and stuff, because I want to see what that is. And maybe, I guess that, yeah, like I said, that's basically the clown of a solar eclipse. And I need, after this, after the solar eclipse ends, I'm going to look up the solar eclipse and see, like, what, what, what happens? What, what spawns it in? What, is it a random thing that happens kind of like a blood moon where it has, like, a, a small percent chance to happen? Uh, Blood Moon has like a small percent chance to happen whenever it turns to nighttime. Maybe a small percent chance for a solar eclipse to happen when it turns to daytime, because I think it was 5 a.m. whenever I first looked at the time during the solar eclipse, which is like pretty much right after it turns to daytime, like 4.30 a.m., right? So that would make sense if it's basically an inverted uh, Blood Moon, which is pretty fun, but if it's like a Halloween-only sort of thing, that kind of sucks, because... You know, it'd be nice to have more of these events, I guess. You know, more loot, more money. Because, golly, I bet we're getting a ton of money. We just got, like, 47 silver by killing, like, two enemies right there. 54, eh, it's adding up to the... 47 gold? What? Oh, 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 we have an eyes ore. Where is it? Oh, the... Whoa, 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 whoa. Something, like, right below me was the eyes ore, I think. I... Uh, unless it wasn't... What? I need to look at my footage. I need to actually go look up what an eyes ore is. Because I'm look, I'm expecting like a demon eye or like a whatever the hard mode version of the demon eye was. I forget. Like I'm expecting like an actual like literal eye that shoots lasers or something crazy. <laughs> but I guess it's maybe like some sort of humanoid type creature, kind of like the Frankenstein's. And oh, I'm surprised there are no zombies. Wait, is he zombies? Yeah, that's just a Frankenstein. Like you think there'd be zombies? That's a, that's another classic horror type trope slash creature slash whatever you want to call it. <laughs> I guess, uh, I guess if anything, the possessed are kind of like zombies. Still getting some, and there's swamp things, there's, that's another, uh, horror type thing. That's pretty fun. Man, I don't know about you guys, I'm kind of in the mood now to go watch some horror flicks. Like, like classic ones that are, you know, kind of meme -y, if you will. <laughs> Not really scary, but just kind of as a meme. <laughs> like, who's going to get spooked by, by heckin' Dracula these days, right? There you go. What time is it now? Three, four, man, still... I'm like, yeah, the daytime does last way longer than the nighttime. So it makes sense that this is actually lasting longer than a blood moon. Because the daytime is how long? Probably like 70% of the day? Or, you know, the day-night cycle? Eh, probably like 60%. I don't know if it's that. I don't know. I don't know what the... Oh, man, I'm actually almost dead. I'm over here thinking about how much of the day is day and how much of the day is night. <laughs> I'm not even looking at my health, almost just died right there. Uh, did we die so far in this, uh... Yeah, I think we did. At least once. Yeah, I think so. So it's not like, oh man, I'm, I'm undefeated or whatever during the heckin'... I'm like, I'm almost dead right now. I need to watch out. I'm only double digits. I need to heal up from El Emily or something, because 40 seconds until the next heckin', uh... Healing potion. Yeah, that's, that's quite a while. I'm gonna get the Amarak out. Boom. Kill those guys from a distance. Oh yeah, we can get we can get healed up for uh, the, uh... Oh yeah, we can uh, hang up here too. Nice. We get the Amarak to do some nice distance stuff, and of course get our spiders to do some good distance uh, damage. Yep, going into the boss arena to take care of them, nice. Oh, this thing have a chance of like freezing enemies or something like that? There's like a sparkle effect that was happening around that guy. Hmm. Anyways, we can do a heal here in about 14 minutes, and uh, we're almost at half health anyway, so I feel comfortable to come back out here and do some more strictly just pure melee damage with the Bagnac things, the fetid Bagnac. I'm just going to call them... The Claws or something like that, which is another heckin' horror flick, right? The Claw. I think. Maybe. Maybe I'm thinking of something else. <laughs> Either way. Oh man, I'm back down to double digit, but hey, at least I can heal up, right? Oh, yep, there you go, nice. And it's 5 p.m. Uh, tsh, two more minutes of this? Really? Man, this is a while. Still about another minute and a half of this heckin' <laughs> killing enemies and stuff like that. Still about 17 minutes, or 17 seconds till I can take another uh, health thing. I'll go back into the boss arena. Just cause it's a little bit safer, less enemies up here, right? Less, less chance of dying, right? As I say that, I'm down to 15 health! Oh my god! Well, at least I can stick up here. Oh nice, let my spiders take care of those critters, nice. What's that thing? Oh. Creature from the deep! Huh! Interesting. And I can heal up, right? 
Yep, boom, there you go. I got the 170 something health. Nice. Kill all these hidden creatures. Uh, yeah, I think I have just one spider right now because I think the uh, bewitched effect, one more minute left. The bewitched effect, I can ran out. And I think my sharpest also ran out too, so I should probably go back and get it. But I'm like, it'll only, it'll only last for like another minute or something like that, right? Like, it, even less. It's going to last like 30 seconds or something. So I might as well, uh, boom, there you go. Bewitched thing. Now I get the sharpened to eat through their armor rating as I die instantly <laughs> and drop 34 gold. Oh. Holy, I had 70 something gold on me or like 69 or something like that gold. Golly, that's crazy. Look at all that trash I picked up. Boom. Oh, I got another mechanical eye. Ooh, that's good. That's good. That's good. So we can start. I think I already have a mechanical eye, but hey, if I have another mechanical eye, hey, I'll be able to summon in the heckin' twins again if I fail the first time, which I probably will. Let's just face the heckin' facts. Oh, I died again. I knew that was gonna heckin' happen. I saw the Dracula going straight towards me. Only like 10. Well, by the time I respawn, the heckin', uh, whatever you call it, it's gonna be, uh, over anyway, so. Or almost over. It's over in. Hey, it's over. Achievement complete. Kill the sun. Nice. Isaac the Merchant was- I didn't even know his name was- Oh, yeah, yeah, that's the Merchant. Do we have a guide right now? I know the- I think the guide died. What? Does Lauren or Amy? Pff, yeah, Lauren. Long gone, right? She, I guess uh, she just throws her heckin' wrench in it. Oh, nice. Someone's, like, celebrating with, like, Chinese lanterns in the background. That's pretty fun. <laughs> I guess she just throws her heckin' wrench in it. Boomerangs back, which is kind of funny. Either way, do we still want to do the Eternia Crystal thing right now? Because I feel like doing the Eternia Crystal thing right now is a little bit too, like, too similar to what we just did, basically, right? I think it's anything, it is, it is pretty different, because you're taking on waves of enemies and... I don't know. I have to think about it. And there's a, yeah, there's a death. Oh, what is this thing? Soul something. Uh, yeah, that must be the, uh, hard mode version of, like, a Mana Star or whatever that picks up and... Or, uh, not hard mode version, but... Like Halloween version, version Soul Crate, I guess is what it was called right there. Did I die over here too? I don't know if I did or not. How much do I have? Yeah, I picked up the big amount of gold that I lost, which is good. There you go, killed that uh, Hoppin' Jack. I love the name of that thing, <laughs> Hoppin' Jack. Oh, there's another one up here. These things, they should, they should drop, a, or at least have a chance of dropping pumpkins. That'd be pretty fun. And speaking of pumpkins, they're still growing around here on mass, which is great. I guess we can buy another Eternia crystal. And there's one growing inside of, what? Well, that guy's dead, so I don't know whose house that is right now. I guess we'll just have to wait and see, but... Let's see what do we got from that, uh... That, uh... What was it called? Really? Lunar Eclipse or Solar Eclipse? I forget which one it was. It was probably a Solar Eclipse because it was during the daytime. Armored Neptune's Shell can be worn in vanity slots. Transforms the holder into merfolk when entering water. What? So I turn into a merman when I'm in, in water? And it gives me plus three defense because it's armored, uh, variant of it. This is wild, plus one melee, melee speed. So just for curiosity's sake, let's get rid of the, uh, I know everyone's going to get upset about me getting rid of the obsidian shield right there, but, you know, I'll keep it, because I know you guys love, uh, that obsidian. Oh, whoa! Makes me look like a heckin' whatever the race was I was in Starbound. I forgot what it was, but it was like a water critter, if you guys know what that was. But I look like it right now. Look at that thing. I actually am like a fish person. <laughs> I actually am a merfolk, I guess is what the technical lore canon name of it is. <laughs> oh, that's fun. But let's get the uh, obsidian shield back. Oh man, I did that whole thing with the heckin' hallowed bars in my inventory casually. I'm like, yeah, I'm like, they didn't even give me, like, any good- Oh, there's a grasshopper over there, I need to go get that thing. Uh, let's, let's continue quick stacking, there you go, nice. Oh yeah, let's put up the DPS meter. But, uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, hallowed bar. Yeah, the, I can't even make anything, like, too good with the hallowed bar. At least armor-wise. Like, this one's 15 defense, 7% increased critical I guess if anything, you could say, yeah. That 7% is crazy good, so you might want to get that. This is, uh, 11 defense. See, that's even worse, too. This is 12 defense, this is 11 defense. But, oh, 7% increased damage. Well, I don't think the boots over here do any, uh, increased damage, do they? Yeah, they don't do any actual increased damage. Just 4% increased, uh, just 4% increased, uh, critical strike chance. And 5% increased movement speed. So we could lose one damage, or one, uh, defense to get 7% more damage. I'm actually thinking about it, you guys. Like, we're not gonna... Uh, how fast are we right now, actually, with the full set? Like, I'm not even noticing anything, honestly. Like, movement speed-wise, like, how much movement speed are we supposed to have? Yeah, 18% increase. Like, that that's high enough to notice it. And I'm not noticing it. So... Maybe I'll make those. I'm really thinking about it, you guys. Like, I'm, I need to use the hallowed stuff anyways, because, hey, we have a pretty good amount of it right now. What about, like, a helmet, though? So this would be... 
for a summoner. This is for a mana or magic magic user. This is for ranged. Nine defense. What do we have right now? 22. Sheesh. Oh, well, this was 24. 10% increased melee damage and critical. Whoa. So it's even better. How do I 12 of those? I can make it and I can make the pants. I'm sure, right? How many do I need? 18. I just need 30. I have enough. I could do it, you guys. We just made heckin' full set of adamantite, and we're already. We'll gain two defense with this. Gain uh 10% uh melee speed. Oh wait, well this one's 14% melee damage, so it goes down by 4%. If I go to this. Hmm. So maybe I'll only get the the greaves. 7% increased damage. Like I don't care about the movement speed, honestly, and the critical strike chance was is, is pretty good already, especially because we have stuff down here, I think, that uh, do extra. Critical strike chance. Yeah, like 4% right there from the warrior emblem, and uh, that does a 4% damage already. Man. I'll make it. Just because it costs 18, and I have a pretty good amount, so boom, there you go. So let's see. How much how much damage do my, like, the fetid net bag knack? It does uh, 97 right there. Do I have a uh, crab effect? No, it ran. Yeah, because I died. Whoops. <laughs> but if we put this on, 97 damage is now uh, 102. That's that's substantial. Five extra damage every like millisecond with this thing. Let's go get the. Let's go get the. I have to. I just put it up. Get the DPS meter back out. Let's test this thing out now. How much? How much DPS am I going to get with no buffs or anything going on? It was in 11, 50, 60, 70, 80 ish. I think it's gone up. Uh, ah. It's hard to tell. Maybe like. 50, 60, 70 DPS, I'd say. You know, it's 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 a little bit better. A little bit better. Is it worth it though to get rid of that extra movement? Well, and this has 8% increased movement speed, so hey, I get a little bit from that too. So I I don't know. I'm like, I guess you just kinda have to balance things over here, you know? And I assume the set bonus for uh for this is probably acting good. Like if I have a full set of hallowed stuff, actually I might as well look that up. What is hallowed armor set bonus? Set bonus is, uh, you become immune after striking an enemy. Wait, what? So you have, like, an invincibility frame or whatever? And what is this thing? Become immune after striking an enemy and increase your maximum number of minions by two. What is that thing? Is that a helmet? Uh, I think one of the, I think it was, like, the summoner helmet or whatever, wasn't it? I think so. That actually, I'm, I'm kind of thinking about that. But, like, you will lose so much defense, right? Where was it? It was this thing? Yeah, so if I have this and I have the full set... Or if I have the chest piece, the the greaves, and this hallowed hood, I'll have two extra minions instead of just one. Hmm. But of course, I have like basically no I can damage or uh, defense because it goes down to one instead of having like twenty two right there, right? So, man. But hey, having an overall uh, what was it again? Oh yeah, having being immune after striking an enemy. That's pretty good. Like it might actually be worth it to get like this, but uh, the plate mail thing. Ah, uh, that does increase damage too, so we'll get rid of that, but we'll get the increased uh, critical strike stuff. I wanted to get that. That's 20. Oh, sheesh, 24. I can just barely get that. I have 28 right now, but I can get that hallowed mask, which is 12. And I need to kill the uh the the, the, the twins to get uh to get that achievement up there, obviously, but also to get enough uh more more hallowed bars to get a full set. Man. I'm like I still I like the the repeater. 8% critical strike. Staunch uh oh yeah, well this one has to plus 10% damage. 8% critical strike as well. I kind of think about that, you guys, but at the same time, like, ah, uh, this storm. I, I don't know how I feel about that storm bow. I'll have to think about it, but do I want to make the repeater here? Like, it's, it's 11 more damage, and it's not even, like, modified. I think I'm going to get it, you guys. And I'll still ha I, I I can get this and the helmet. Right? Yeah, both 12. I'll have four left over. So we'll get rid of 4% melee damage. And it also gives us critical strike. Okay, well, the critical strike goes up by three, because this is seven. The melee damage goes down by four, and the defense goes up by two. Does that balance out? Is that does that worth it? Maybe. And of course, if I replace the breastplate, was that sixteen defense? What was the breastplate over here? Fifty. So we lose a defense and gain seven percent uh, critical strike instead of having six percent increased damage overall. Man, it might be worth it for that invincibility frame. It's just that we need to defeat another mechanical boss to get more hallowed. That I think that's the only way you can get it. Actually, let me just make sure. Hallowed bars are used to craft mid-hard mode. Oh, we're in mid-hard mode already? What? I bet some people are like, yeah, you're still in heckin' entry-level hard mode. You're, <laughs> you're nowhere near mid already. Jeez. But uh, they are dropped by all three mechanic bosses. Yeah, I'm not seeing... There's no crafting. The only crafting you could do is to use it in crafting. You can't, like, craft it 
So yeah, you can only get these from the mechanical bosses. So that's interesting. Do I want to do it? I, I think I'm going to do it. I think I'm going to get the repeater and I think I'm going to get the helmet. Let's do it. Boom. Boom. Did I get the helmet already? Uh, no, I still have 16 right there. Okay, let's get the helmet. Let's, let's make sure we get the right one, the mask. So it's going to be for the melee damage because we're doing melee right now. That's our current class. I, I don't I don't think you can like do a there's like no menu or whatever to pick a class. I think you just have to, you know, get the things that buff the, the, the class that you want. So, you know, we're doing melee right now. So let's do melee. Boom. There you go. Hallowed mask. 24 defense. So we're going to go up to 60 defense. Boom. Yep. We lose the adamantite set bonus, which is like movement speed or something stupid. So I don't, I don't really care about that. And look at this. We're already setting up <laughs> a full, uh, like, look, look, look at this progression we're doing of armor over here. You guys, it's crazy. Wait, what happened to my cobalt armor? Did I ever? Oh, I, I, don't, think, I don't think I ever had cobalt armor, did I? Did I, I think I might have sh like jumped straight to mithril. Hmm. I kind of want to make cobalt armor just as, you know, just to kind of have it there, just as a meme, right? <laughs> That'd be pretty fun. I have a lot of goodie bags here, too. Suppose I'll, uh, oh, I guess if anything, let's let's check the DPS meters because we have the extra. Uh, yeah, we have the extra critical strike. It went up by 3% there, I believe. And our melee damage went down a little bit or, you know, damage in general went down a little bit. Let's see our DPS. It's still pretty good. I thought it'd go down a little bit, like maybe it'd be in the mid 1000s or whatever. But no, it actually uh, went up by like maybe like 20, 30, 40 points, depending on how many crits I get. And of course, I'm, I think I think I'm getting more crits now. So maybe that's pulling the uh, the average up a little bit. Yeah, see, it's even going into the 1100s a couple times now. Yeah, look at that. It's like in the 1100s, like straight up. And it's, it even hit like 1120 right there, I think, for a split second. So it depends on how many crits I get is, is what the DPS would uh, entail. But yeah, the Hallowed Repeater, that just it's just better overall. So unfavorite that. And uh, that that didn't even give us a, uh, a modifier. I don't even think we had. Do we have a uh, Goblin Tinker here? I don't, I don't know if he's arrived just yet. Let me see. Do we have a Goblin? I don't think so. I'm not seeing one right now. He has like blue skin or something, but I'm not seeing him. Hmm. That sucks. Probably have to wait a little bit uh, longer for him. So. Either way, do we even have the merchant? Is he over here yet? I don't think he is. Yeah, he's not even a sign there. Unless uh, we do have a merchant. Nah, I have to reassign him, but I'm not seeing him right now, you guys. Yeah, I don't think we have a merchant. So that kind of sucks. Whoops. <laughs> but uh, let's see. What was I doing? Oh, and right as I say that, Grodax the Goblin Tinkerer has arrived. Hey, let's reforge. Uh, how much money do we have? I guess I'll have to see here in just a bit, but let's give him the Hallowed Repeater. Six gold. We have uh, one. Oh, God. Yeah, we have a lot of money. One platinum, 29 heck gold. Sheesh. When did that happen? Reforge. Strong. A lot of knockback there. Do I want to spend eight gold to get it up to, you know, more melee damage and whatever else? Like, we, it's going to be a chance of possibly being bad. Do I want the knockback, though? Like, if, I'm, if I have a ranged thing, it, it makes sense to have knockback so it stays, you know, ranged <laughs> from us. I think I'm going to keep it as uh, strong for right now. Nothing too crazy. Whatever. Uh, oh, yeah, it's legendary. Yeah, it's already the best. Oh, yeah, we can give him the Amarak thing. I'm like, he doesn't have anything right now. So uh, Zealous plus 5% critical strike chance. I'll keep it as that. that. That's fine. That's fine. I'm not I'm not crazy about that. Do we have anything else? Can I do anything with a Clinton? Yeah, I can't do anything with that. Uh, oh, yeah, we have the sh Stormbow or yep, Stormbow. 13 gold to uh, modify that one, though. Ooh, Forceful. Another. Well, not if it's knocked back when coming straight down. Is that useless or does it like push it away from me? I don't know. 17 gold to reforge it again. Uh, it says it has very weak knockback, so I assume that's kind of a trash thing. I'm going to do another one. Ruthless. Yeah, I don't care about the knockback. Negative 10% knockback, but 18% more damage up to 54. Holy heck, that's good. I'm glad I that was a lot of money we just spent right there, but I'm not I'm not I'm not regretting it one bit. Holy heck. Let's sell them a bunch of uh like, like these banners. I actually do not care. So uh there you go. Fritz. Oh, there's a pump. Oh, you know what? Hoppin' Jack, I like that. Like cosmetically. I'll keep that. Wild Neptune's shell. Oh, that's eight guys. A lot of money. I'll sell that one just because uh, I feel like this plus three defense one is probably going to be better. But like, it's, just, it's not not necessarily good anyways, but whatever. Frankenstein one right there. Sure. And yeah, there's the Hoppin' Jack. I'll keep that. That's that's pretty fun. But let me go put up uh, the Hoppin' Jack somewhere. Can I put it up over here? No, I can't. Uh, where should I put it? You know, I'm kind of thinking about getting like a one piece of wood or whatever and just hanging it outside. Uh, where's our, there it is right there. One piece of wood and then hang it out like right here, like a balcony, basically. Let's see. Can I place it? Uh, let's do this. There you go. And let's see if I can place it right here. Is that torch in the way? No, it's not. Hey, look at that. Nice. See, I need to do that. <laughs> That's pretty fun. It's like a heckin' jack-o'-lantern hanging from the side of our heckin' house. That's pretty cool. Either way, let's put, uh, 
Yeah, let's put the hollow bar up there. Put the Neptune shell up in our... Oh, whoa! Trent the Guide! Hey! Now we need to get the, the merchant next, because... He's second dead still. Then the DPS meter, put that up as well. Goodie bag, yeah, it's just gonna be a bunch of uh, trash. And let's, yeah, let's put up the uh, staunch adamant. I could probably just sell that, honestly. 52 damage, uh, 63, yeah. Might as well just sell it. Go to Patty. And yeah, we need to buy his Eternia crystal stuff over here. What are they called again? Defender metals. I, I think, uh, I think I'm keeping that in my piggy bank, aren't I? Oh, Aiden, the traveling merchant, has arrived. But yeah, I don't know where I put the. Oh, oh, I think, oh yeah, I know where I, yeah, I think I put it in his base, didn't I? Yeah. There's a gold chest down here. Yeah, I've got six defender medals. Yeah, and here are my, uh, my rods. That's what those are called. Then we go from the rods to, to the canes, and I don't know what the tier three version of those are. Now, where's that traveling merchant at? Just curiosity. I want to see, uh, oh, he's over in the jungle area. Okay, I guess we'll go over there and see what he has. And then, uh, what do we go? Oh, I guess I'll do the goodie bags. So, let's do this. Right click to open wolf stuff. That's pretty funny. Oh, what? Creeper? Ha! <laughs> That's funny. I want. I, I'm switching over to that right now. Ghost mask, treasure hunter, morbid curiosity. What is that? Oh, it was a painting. Vampire. Is that a? Oh, and a pixie shirt. Pixie pants there too. All right. Well, let's put on. Let's get a creeper outfit going, you guys. That sounds fun. Let's see. This is this is completely full, by the way. So, I need to make a heck of second chest over here. It's crazy. I'm like, I've got all this room up here. I need to make a. Hey, Walter the merchant. Or uh, yeah, the merchant has arrived. Nice. Guess I'll put him in one of these chests over here. So werewolf stuff, treasure hunter, put all this stuff up. Actually, that's a painting. I have a place specifically for paintings. So there you go. Let's put our uh, pumpkin stuff up. There you go. And let's put the creeper stuff on. Oh my God. I look like I can creeper. I actually have like the four legs and stuff too. Hold on. Let's get rid of the, uh, that. Let's get rid of the wings. And you can, uh, is that the charm? What is that thing right there? What's that orange thing? Oh, that's the, uh, the stinger necklace thing. Yeah, and I've got the balloon, too. Where's that at? There it is, right there. And I've got, I'm, a, I'm a creeper with arms. Ew. <laughs> that is awesome. Oh, yeah, I, I can still, yeah, because I've got the Terra Spark boots. I can still fly around with that. Yeah, that's fun. It's a heckin' flying creeper, you guys. How scary is that? 